Are you afraid of a two-stroke engine because you don't know how to mix the two-stroke oil properly with the gasoline? I was too, but then I got one of these, which made it a lot easier. Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to mix gasoline with two-stroke oil for your two-stroke outboard engine. So I used to think it was a lot of witchcraft and wizardry for people to figure out how to mix the oil correctly for their two-stroke outboard engine. But it's not. It's actually quite simple if you have one of these things. The first few times I ever went to mix my two-stroke oil with gasoline, I was just doing math in my head trying to figure out fractions. This does all the math for you. All you gotta do is look at lines and I'll show you how to use it. It's super simple. So if you're running a two-stroke outboard engine, it's very important that you always run oil with your gas mixed, whether it's an oil injection system or whether you're pre-mixing it in your gas can like I have to do. And the ratio is important too. If you get the ratio wrong, something could go wrong with your engine because of not enough oil lubrication, or it could be smoking terribly or running really poorly because of too much oil in the gasoline. So you need to get just the right mixture. Luckily, most modern outboard motors use 50 to one mix, but be sure to look yours up online somewhere just to double check to make sure exactly what mix it's supposed to be. My Mercury 2.5 horsepower is a 50 to one mix. Also, you wanna be sure to use the right oil for your outboard engine. Do not use 10W30 or 0W20 automotive oil. TCW3 grade oil is the right kind of oil you should be using for your outboard engine. Some people go with specific name brands, other people use whatever they can get off the shelf. And here's the most important piece of the puzzle, this measuring bottle. I really like this one that I just got. I have a link to be able to buy this exact bottle on amazon.com. I actually picked mine up locally, so I paid a little bit more for it. But the really great thing about this particular one here, which is made by Sea Choice, not a paid sponsor, is that it has instructions on the front of it exactly how to do it. It says, number one, note the exact amount of gasoline added to the tank. Number two, add oil to corresponding oil mark on your Sea Choice measuring bottle and pour into tank and mix well. It can't be any easier than that. For my particular engine, which is 50 to one, for my metric friends, they have liters. And for us in the US, it has gallons of gas. If you purchased five gallons of gas or 19 liters, you just fill this bottle up to this mark with your two stroke oil. And that is the right exact amount of oil for five gallons of gas or 19 liters. I just got back from the gas station and I just filled up this jug with gas. So what I did is as I was pumping it in there, whenever it got close to full, I checked on the pump to see exactly how many gallons it added to this tank. And it was just under two gallons. Because I just purchased two gallons, I look at our 50 to one chart right here, where two gallons is, which is 7.6 liters. All I need to know is to put oil in this bottle to this line right here. So we remove the lid from our bottle. We pour oil in till we get to that mark. So I bought just under two gallons, which is this mark right here at 50 to one. Don't use 40 to one or 24 to one or 100 to one. I'm using 50 to one. At 50 to one, I have this filled up to just under the two gallon mark because I got just under two gallons of gas. If you notice, this oil is blue. The reason that two cycle outboard engine oil is blue is so that way it colors your gasoline blue. So that way, if you mix any gasoline in a can and you accidentally go to pour that into something else, you'll see the blue color and realize this is two stroke mixed oil. Hey, if this video was useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up like down below, thank you. So with our two gallons of fuel that are added to this tank, we can now add our oil. And I'm just pouring this right on in 
with the gasoline that's in my can. Or running it all over top of the lid because I'm not using a funnel. So a smarter person would be using a funnel to do this part. So now we know that we have added the exact right amount of oil to our gasoline to have our 50 to one mix. And the way that I mix it is I just sort of shake my jug around a little bit. And when it goes out in my boat, it's gonna get some more agitation. And that's all there is to it. One of the things that I do is I also have labeled my gas container. This one is labeled that it is my 50 to one mix gas oil. So that way I don't ever accidentally pick up this gas container and use it for something else. So as you can see, it's not rocket science. You don't need to do any math. You don't need to do any calculations. You just need to be able to read this chart on the side of this bottle. The only math you would need to do is if you're mixing more than 10 gallons or 40 liters of gasoline to oil, and then you'd have to fill this up a couple of times because the highest measurement it goes at 50 to one is 39.9 liters or 10.5 gallons. So if you were treating 15 gallons of fuel, you'd fill this up to 10 and then you'd fill this up to five. But there really couldn't be an easier way to make sure that you've mixed your gas and oil appropriately. And by writing it on the top of this particular container, I know that what's in here is always 50 to one mixed two stroke gas and oil. So whenever I head out on my boat, which might be later today, I can take that with me and I know I've got properly mixed fuel as a backup while I'm going out in my boat. So I hope this has helped alleviate the mystery of this. And remember, I have a link to buy one of these in the description below. They're very inexpensive. And I really like the way that this bottle works because whenever I'm all done, I can just put the cap back on this bottle and leave it on my shelf. And if I'm going to the filling station and I know I'm buying two gallons of fuel, I can actually pre-fill this bottle before I leave and add it in there before I put the two gallons of fuel in the container as well. If you have any two stroke oil mixing questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Here's another video pick just for you and a playlist of videos very similar to this one. Stay safe out there in the water. I'm really glad I bought this. This is gonna be very handy this summer.